ever looked at a food label and felt like you were reading a chemistry textbook? Trans fats, high fructose corn syrup, aspartame, MSG, what are all these things? And are they secretly harming us? Let's break it down. Everything around us is made of chemicals, right? The water you drink, that's just dihydrogen monoxide, the salt on your fries. Yet, sodium chloride, it's not about dodging chemicals. But figuring out which ones aren't great for our bodies over time, take trans fats, for example, often listed as partially hydrogenated oils. These are man-made fats designed to make foods last longer on the shelf. The problem, our bodies struggle to process them, and they've been strongly linked to heart problems. That's why many countries have banned them if you still see them on a label. It's a good idea to put that item back. High fructose corn syrup is everywhere, from your soda to your bread. While it's kinda similar to regular sugar, your liver processes it differently. Too much of it can lead to weight gain and health problems, so it's smart to keep it in check. Moderation is key, right? MSG, or monosodium glutamate, often gets a bad rap, right? But for most folks, it's totally safe in small amounts, it's just a natural amino acid that gives food that yummy, savory umami flavor. Sure, some people might feel a bit off after eating it, but the fear around it seems a bit overblown. And artificial sweeteners like aspartame? They offer a sweet taste without the calories, which sounds great. But research is still ongoing about their long-term effects. Some studies suggest they might affect our gut bacteria or even our perception of sweetness. Again, it's a personal choice, but relying on them to heavily might not be the best strategy. So, are you eating bad chemicals? Not necessarily. The most important thing is to eat a balanced diet rich in whole foods fruits, veggies, lean proteins, and whole grains when you do eat processed foods. Just be a savvy shopper, read the labels, understand what you're eating, and make informed choices that feel right for you. It's not about fear, it's about being empowered. If you found this helpful, give us a like and hit that subscribe button for more content to help you live a healthier, happier life. See you in the next video.